what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back i am stepping back into the ring once again season four episode five is here i'm going for the four episodes to drop on early access so that's why i'm still wearing the same hoodie no you guys don't care um this is how my recording sessions go um, i'm actually recording this on a night that i don't usually record i know that last week i didn't get a chance to watch black sales and i'm also trying to finish up this series also so we can move on to another show um but no rush no rush um it's just that i usually watch um two to four episodes of you know black sales when i sit down to watch so i'm going for it i got one more to do tonight um after this one after episode five we'll do, i'll do episode six so episode three to six will be out on early access guys if you are considering joining the membership on the channel please do so early access is the shit around here you know what i'm saying um as i said it, you know sometimes i don't really like promoting it because i feel kind of scummy <laughs> you know but it is early access it is something that was asked for on the channel when i i i believe i did a poll at one point of what i should offer for membership and early access was one of those things that i that i did offer on the patreon before but the, the patreon didn't work out because i don't want to put my reactions behind a paywall and i was doing early access for my read throughs for for um for manga read throughs over there um i still do and if if you are on the channel and you have signed up over on patreon there's a lot of things coming to patreon don't don't unsubscribe from the Patreon yet because there's a bunch of stuff coming over there that is going to be exclusive to Patreon only. Music is going to be free over there. Also, um, I'm talking about a lot of stuff that has nothing to do with black sales because we're going to jump into the... But when you guys hear this, you'll hear it. Whatever the situation is, whether you're here or not. So if you are here and you're watching this show and you are also considering joining the membership on the channel to get lots of episodes early and you don't have to wait a whole week all the episodes are released all at once on early access so you don't have to wait like i don't release the episodes as soon as i react to them i release them on early access okay so you don't have to wait a week you can watch all four episodes once they drop on early access so you don't have to worry about waiting until next week or the next week after that to watch these episodes okay so Hey, we in our bag. Let's get to the episode. Can't wait to see what happens next in Black Sales. Let's go. Let's go. I know plenty of you want, I know you guys want to know what I think of Billy. I know he's not dead, but they're basically going to feed him to the wolves. Israel hands is the truth. He, he will give you these hands. You know what I'm saying? These axes. <laughs> um, the Billy situation and why I believe that. Why I think John, I think John turned on him and made the decision to kill him instead because <sighs> he could have gotten Maddie killed. <laughs> He literally, I mean, he, he did shoot at Maddie. And I think that's what's really, like, super unforgivable for, 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 for John. Because Maddie was there when the shootout happened. And it was like, bro, I could have came back and my girl ain't here because you killed him. And you thought, you thought this was going to be sweet? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think that's really what pushed him to be like, yo, I'm going to side with Flynn instead of Billy. Because Billy... The thing about Billy that I did not like about him and his attitude leading up to this episode since we started season four was because he just, you know, and he just didn't come off right. And even when he was being called out, he was like, no, no, this is what we're doing. And I don't care about Flint. I don't care what Flint said. If Flint has the greatest idea in the world, Billy is going to go against it because he doesn't trust him because he doesn't like him because he's always wanted flint to be dead you get what i'm saying so you know and i think he feels some sort of way about flint killing mr Gaines also so throughout all that he just don't want flint to have any kind of influence um and i understand billy's point of view to some point there are just certain times when you just gotta stand 
down and he just keeps putting the, these ideas into John's head about Flint and it's just like, like you know it and I know it I know it you know it you know it I know it I know it and you know it <laughs> you know what I'm saying um, I'm just literally tired of hearing him say that to, to John it was it was just it was annoying but it was very surprising to me that they went a different place and led him to a different place to wait you know and sent the dude to go kill him and it's like nah John is that guy you know what I'm saying and the, the thing about it is that he didn't stand a chance Israel Hands is he, he's like a he's like the the a hitman and I love what he said to John too in that moment he's he, he's like you know what I'm saying fuck Clint don't fuck Clint fuck Billy don't fuck Billy but you gotta make a decision you know what I'm saying you gotta accept this kingship and I don't mind him it's I don't mind him I don't think I don't think I don't think Flint at this point I think Flint just wants the island I don't think he wants to be king of the island I think that's something that you know if John wants to run the place he can do that I don't think Flint wants to run the place you get what I'm saying I just think that he wants a place to call home and I think that's that's what I'm picking up from his vibe nowadays it's just like anything to get my home back you know what I'm saying he legitimately I thought he had something planned but he legitimately wanted this to happen. Give up the cash, let him go. But I'm glad that they met Jack on, on the beach because Jack let him know what happened. This dude is a crazy dude. You know what I'm saying? And he, he he's, in some ways, you can break it down to, to, um, to the governor just being a sore loser. He's kind of like that. And he just, I don't want to say he hates piracy to that to that point because he doesn't really he doesn't have a straight up hatred for piracy he's just like oh you beat me no i'm coming after you you know what i'm saying like he's that type of person where if you do something to him he just has this rage this this hidden rage that bubbles over in in a certain way he's not rah rah all over the place when he's angry he's a very calm angry person which just does these crazy things to people if if he feels like he's lost he's gonna go to the extent of there's something that he said i think he was talking to jack at one point i don't remember exactly but he was talking and he you know what i'm saying he was talking about his past i think it was jack that he was talking to i think it was when they were in the carriage together i don't i don't remember it was last season right and he was talking i was like this dude is not somebody you want to mess with and because his vengeance is very strict you know <laughs> you know what i mean like it is his vengeance is very like it, it's unexpected how he issues out his vengeance right so um i wonder how eleanor is going to feel now that he is re returned with basically a freaking spanish fleet um how is he going to take this situation and how is he i mean how is she going to take the situation and if she's going to finally come back to her senses about protecting nassau because you realize you are now married to a crazy person <laughs> you know i wonder if because he's like because they're going to send the men to the beach, right? Because he did tell them to protect Eleanor. But um, she's not in the fort right now. And they're about to get attacked. So that's going to be a problem because he's not going to know that she's not in the fort. So this is about to get wild. I got one more episode to watch at this session. Um, episode 6. I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, that is all I have to say about this episode. This this show is wild and so good you know what i mean um the billy situation is just it's just what it is i'm not really happy or sad that it happened it's more of like i'm very neutral on it because billy you know what i'm saying regardless of who he's become he's still one of my favorite characters on the show so i'm very you know what i'm saying up and down with how i feel about what happened to him 
and you know he should have just been on board man and just 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 accept greatness you're not gonna be that dude and and you know john kind of called him out too you know what i'm saying about him try probably going to try to use you know john as a pawn also just to you know so he can rule and it Billy's just not that guy. He's not the guy that strikes me as a superior leader. You know what I'm saying? He's more of like a guy, a very good supportive leader. You know what I'm saying? Like a, like a, like a vice principal, <laughs> or like a, like a, um, what do you call it? A, a, a assistant manager. Like he's he's that guy. He's not the guy that I'm gonna put everything on. Say manage. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel that way about him. He's very subpar when it comes on to leadership. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Got one episode to go. Like and comment. You know what to do. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts. I'm out. Peace.